Take note of this. Everyone worships. Everyone holds something as of highest value to them. But only some kinds of worship bring God pleasure. Some translations call it acceptable, acceptable worship. Some worship is acceptable and some is not. True worship, worship that is in spirit and in truth, pleases God. In Malachi 1.3, God rebukes Israel for bringing sacrifices but neglecting justice and righteousness. God says, But you say what a weariness this is, and you snort at it, says the Lord of hosts. You bring what has been taken by violence or is lame or sick, and you bring this as your offering. Shall I accept that from your hand, says the Lord? Paul wrote to the Ephesian church, Try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Ephesians 5.10 do we know what pleases the Lord? Walking as children of light, taking no part in the unfruitful works of darkness? Here's the challenge for us. Let's make a list. Check it twice, as you wish. But let us do as Paul said. Find out what pleases the Lord. Really, make a list. Include at least 25 items on that list so that you get past the easy entries and really start to probe down into what you know makes him smile. Go ahead and write it now. I'll wait. No, I won't. <laughs> but do it anyway, okay? When we bring God our best, we try not to cut corners. When Then that makes God happy. When we choose light over darkness, it makes God smile. May you feel the pleasure of God in what you do today. Amen.